Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I want to welcome you to another Shoop weekly webinar. My name is Camille. I'm here with Wes. He's a technical sales director at Shoop. He knows all the ins and outs of the multi-vendor program, and he's going to walk through why clients use Shoop. Hey, Camille. How's it going? Good. Thank you. All right. Well, yeah, you're the boss, so you take the lead. All right. So, well, in this uh, session, we're going to quickly share some reasons why customers switch or decide to use Shoop over multi-vendor e-commerce platforms. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about the contents, uh, what makes Shoop stand out, Shoop client project man, uh, process, the process that uh, projects take. And we'll save a little time in the end for some Q&A and some questions. Okay. So Wes, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I've also ahead. put some, I also put some content here together where, you know, I can discuss what real true multi-vendor means in a 2020 context, uh, the types of stores and industries we can handle, scalability with Shoop and their customizability of the platform as well. Also, one of our big value adds is our roadmap to code ownership, which is uh, an important feature of our product. Perfect. So cool. Well, all right. We well, already... why don't you start off, Wes, by telling us a little bit about Shoop? What is Shoop? Yeah. Yeah. So Shoop is a multi vendor e commerce platform. So what we do is we take products, we digitize them, put them onto a server. Uh, customers can then go to your web application, they can purchase those products. Uh, it produces an order, uh, and that order is paid and then shipped or fulfilled uh, in any way that you see fit uh, as a customer and that's sent to the end user. So it's pretty much e-commerce in a nutshell. Uh, what multi-vendor really means is that we are, we are providing a service, our customers are providing a service for merchants. So these merchants are participants of the marketplace. They have their own products, they have their own orders, they have their own shipping and payment methods uh, as part of the platform, they're individualized the shop owner themselves actually just administrate the vendors who are selling on the platform. So this allows you to have multiple brands uh, participating in one e-commerce environment. All right, that's fantastic. And um, what makes it a multi-vendor and why do you prefer a multi-vendor per se over a single vendor? Yeah, so uh, if you were to go to the single vendor website, you're basically locked in to a single vendor uh, website. Uh, sorry, it's my dog hanging around the background. We live in COVID times. Um, so uh, the, if you're locked into a single vendor site, you're always going to be living in that site. You can always add uh, some sort of add-ons or try to extend it in the future. But the underlying framework is always going to be a uh, single vendor. Uh, with Shoop, we're starting out of the gate as multi-vendor. So you can always operate as a single vendor in this context. Uh, if you could be the shop owner and the principal vendor on the marketplace. Uh, you could also in the future add more vendors as you want to expand your business and grow and have a larger product offering for your customers. Wes, is there a limitation on how many vendors you could have? There is no limitation. So we can discuss this further in the scalability part of our talk. Okay. But in a nutshell, you know, outside of the laws of physics, there's nothing limiting the software itself from providing as many vendors or users as you need. Perfect. Um, what kind of multi-vendor marketplaces and features can you build with Shoop? So if we jump over to my next slide, so we primarily can provide services for B2B, B2C, and C2C marketplaces. So B2B businesses are mostly focused, you know, of course, like doing transactions between corporations. B2C is like t-shirt shops. Uh, C2Cs are more like sites like Craigslist, um, or uh, eBay, where actual consumers are selling their goods and wares to other consumers. Uh, on top of that, uh, we can provide services for stockables, uh, which are basically products that live on the shelf. They have an inventory number associated with them. Uh, digital project uh, products, whether they're streaming products, downloadable, live streaming as well, like we're doing right now. So in theory, we could be selling products in a live stream right now for our customers. Uh, for people watching the actual webcasts. Uh, and finally, we have bookables, which is really anything that lives in your calendar, like rentals, uh, um, appointments, or like event bookings, tickets, 
things of this nature. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, let's talk a little bit about the scalability, as I touched on before. How, how big can shoe marketplace actually get? I imagine if you handle multiple vendors, it can grow quite a bit. Yeah, so uh, in our standard licensing model, um, we'll talk about that later. We have business, enterprise, and proprietary packages. Our primary mode of scaling for our customers is going to be vertical scaling. We're, we're giving you more server output. Uh, this keeps the cost low uh, as we're just sort of increasing the CPU and RAM of the actual remote server itself. Uh, but really, when our customers truly go enterprise, we're going to be looking at more of a stateless microservice model where we're using horizontal scaling, using many servers across the globe to serve the application and to provide services to customers. Cool. How, what is Shoot built on? Uh, Shoop is actually built on uh, Django. So we're currently on Django 2.2. Uh, Django is a high level Python web framework. It's used by Pinterest, Instagram, The Washington Post, Eventbrite. So the high level framework itself has really proved its ability to manage enterprise sites. Uh, Shoop is, you know, a white label essentially version of these sites. Perfect. That's fantastic. Um, so let's imagine I'm a potential multi-vendor shop owner. Okay. What, what features can you offer to, to help me make my, my choice and, and to understand and help me understand a good multi-vendor marketplace, what it, what it must be able to do. Yeah. So what I do in my specification calls with our customers is I like to spend at least the first 10 to 15 minutes getting to know the customer and getting to know their project okay. because uh, each customer has specific business logic they're trying to ingrain into their website. Because if they're really coming to us, they're looking for a glove fit. They're looking for a, a e-commerce platform that fits them now. And they can also, you know, stretch and give them room to grow uh, into the future. So we would first discuss where they want to go with the project and then get really the core essentials of what they need right now, which we call the minimal viable product or MVP for sure. We throw that acronym around all the time. Uh, I just like to always clarify it for people because not everybody knows what MVP stands for. Um, so we'll hone down your project to the core key essentials of what you need on day one uh, to start your marketplace. Uh, then from there, uh, we can build out a phase two, phase three versions of your web application to give you more robust functionality as the requirements become, uh, become more nece necessary to fulfill. I see. I see. So essentially customers get ex the exact market, the same exact marketplace to start with. And then it's all built customized on top. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So Shoop is uh, largely, it's just an installed application from Django from a technical perspective. If we have okay. any developers out there, Shoop is an installed Django application. So the base of each customer project is going to be the same installed application, but what really gives Shoop the ability to, ability to be customized is that we provide a, a brand new sandbox to each customer, which is a brand new Django project. And we can build in their specific business logic into this project without really affecting the application code base itself. That's great. That, 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 that's amazing. All right. Well, um, tell me a little bit about uh, the licensing and, and the ownership of code. Yeah, so the licensing and roadmap of code uh, is something that we sort of uniquely pride ourselves on. Uh, but each uh, version, uh, each iteration of our licensing agreements are, have their you know, unique elements to them. So with the business package, this is usually what I generally recommend for new people who are new to the e-commerce world. What the business package gives you is that it gives you a managed hosting service with Shoop. We'll manage your code base and we'll also do all the development in your project. So if say you're, you know, this is already, I have plenty of examples this already. We're getting ready to enter the fourth quarter and everybody wants a marketplace for Christmas. So, so they can give, you know, products to their end users for Christmas. So what the business package allows our customers to do is even if they know they want to be enterprise on January 1st, we can put them in business package and get them into the holiday season immediately so they can start doing transactions so they don't miss their fourth quarter revenue. The enterprise license uh, is a higher level of uh, own, code ownership. Okay. So what the enterprise license does is that uh, it allows our, our customers to basically control their source code and um, 
to host their own projects. So when we get into this uh, situation where we need uh, more custom server setups and or integrate Shoop into microservices, or if they even want to create their own React Angular JS uh, application or uh, View app, we can sell them an enterprise license where they can run basically a headless e-commerce platform within one of these JavaScript frame web frameworks. Um, so they can, you know, build their own front end client based business logic and then just run everything through shape a shoop APIs. Uh, eventually our customers are going to want to move into the proprietary license. And this is what really sets us apart to be honest. So in the proprietary license, uh, you can speak to me or to our CEO, Tommy about this specifically, but we can, discuss options for you to actually buy out your own source code, which will exist as a, like a license in perpetuity for the code that you control. Of course, like we're handing over a very valuable product to you and value, that value exchange has a lot of attachments associated with it. Uh, so it's just important to be transparent about that as well. Um, but there is a way to actually get there where the license fees end and you have uh, complete control over your code. That's excellent. Uh, under those licenses, are there any development services that you can help provide? Yeah. So in the business package, uh, we usually do one of these MVP, minimal viable product uh, projects, okay. uh, where we collect your business requirements, we build your code base, we do your base customizations, and we can actually launch your market into, uh, into production where people can actively buy uh, and sell on your marketplace. And uh, with the developers in house. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's like another thing is that uh, we don't do any offshoring. We don't do any third party contracting. All of our developers are in house developers. Uh, so awesome. you're working with shoop experts all the time. You know, uh, which it can be troublesome sometimes for customers. They don't know who, really who's doing the work. But when you hire shoop, you know that we're doing the work. Excellent. That sounds impressive. It seems like so, there's a lot of support and communication. Uh, to yeah. Help customer. Yeah. Each one of our customers is going to get their a dedicated Slack channel. Uh, it's basically a dedicated chat box directly with their project manager and their lead developer who will be responsible for the technical implementation of their project. Uh, where if they have any questions, we can try to respond to them as quickly as we can directly. Just to avoid all the email ping pong, we can just get straight to brass tacks. Fantastic. So whether you're launching a new idea or you're migrating an existing store from another platform. It sounds like Shoe Boss offers customizability, customizability, scalability, and licensing options for any level of service to help you grow. Is that right? Yeah, we're here for the, the small business entrepreneur, but we're also here for the enterprise client who wants to experiment with a new marketplace or try out a new technology. We provide uh, contractual and you know, development services that can fit uh, all needs. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate your time in answering these questions. Um, if we have any questions, we can hold them off to the end uh, from our users or the people participating. Is there anything else you want to add, Wes? Uh, you know, to be honest, I think we've gone through a lot already. Okay. Uh, I just want to add that to, to me, the, the biggest value that we give our customers is, you know, we're here to make you successful. Like we're here to build a marketplace and we're here to enable you to be successful in any venture that you do. And we are here to build a long-term relationship with you and to make sure that you're always successful. So I always keep an open line of communications with my customers during their projects and after their projects. Uh, so this is, you know, one of my, personally, one of my, my core tenants as a, as a technical sales director for Shoop is to make sure that we're always available for our customers. Perfect. And if there's anyone listening now that wants to get started, uh, what is uh, the process for them to, uh, to uh, get their project up and running? Uh, well, if they want to, if they're trying to get it started right now, I mean, uh, I'll call Panu and we'll get the code base going. Um, but if they're looking to launch a project in, within the next month or they want to get their marketplace open for Q4 uh, for this Christmas, uh, what I'd recommend is you can go to shoop.com. Uh, you can hit request a demo that will directly, that will direct you straight to one of my uh, account managers who will uh, collect your initial specification, initial needs, and then largely just book a call for you to talk to me and we can go into a lot more detail. 
Perfect. Perfect. Well, that's it, I guess. Thank you everyone who's joined. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions directly, feel free to answer them in the Q&A section. And if there's anything uh, that we haven't covered or you want to know more, uh, don't hesitate to visit the website uh, and talk to one of the sales specialists or a consultant uh, about your project. Cool. All right. Okay. We have a question. Yes, uh, I have, just have a question from users. This um, webinar has been recorded. We will be providing um, uh, a version of it that you can uh, we can share with you. Yeah, you're most welcome. Excellent. Well, again, thanks to everyone for your time. Wes, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. And um, we look forward to the next uh, weekly. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. You, thank you for uh, taking the time and doing this for us, Camille. I really appreciate it. You're most welcome. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information, you can contact us at contact at shoop.com. If you're an existing customer, reach out to your project manager. Visit our website, shoop.com, or find us on social media. Check out our social media links in the description of the video below.